We always think about the undruggable targets, I think, first and foremost as a chemical challenge, a biophysical challenge, a big protein-protein interaction or a very tightly held ligand like I'll tell you about. Um, but what we often uh, forget is that sometimes all of the, the information we have about those targets in terms of their biophysical properties or their cycling may not be fully understood. And sometimes at the start of making the drug, we can uncover something that actually provides the opportunity that we need to get the drug uh, finally um, onto the protein and, and to work. So I'll, I'll tell you about um, two um, uh, G-protein uh, uh, targets. The first is KRAS, and the second is G-alpha-S, which Brian already introduced. Um, and, and KRAS is rather infamous. It's the first human oncogene. It's the most frequently mutated uh, 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 oncogene in cancer. And although we have many fantastic protein kinase inhibitors that inhibit the downstream kinases, RAF and MEK, none of these have shown a therapeutic benefit in KRAS mutant tumors. So we've tried to go around the problem, and uh, I think recently in the last 10 years, really prompted by Frank McCormick and Harold Varmus, put a big initiative at the NCI to go after RAS. We've realized that we need to really get molecules on the target itself.